One of my goals was to have an academy during the summer where we have the opportunity to engage with students, and particularly local students. This was something that we were committed to doing. Kevin Lyles, who is the head of the Make It Happen Foundation, wanted to introduce something that would essentially invite talented kids who might not otherwise think about business into thinking about possible careers in business. We're hosting 16 of the area's best and brightest rising sophomores and juniors uh, from Durham, Wake, Chatham, and Orange counties. We have a leadership lecture, a globalization lecture, uh, a financial literacy lecture in addition to finance. My name is Stephen Jones. I am 14 years old and I attend Riverside High School. I want to start with science and get as high as I can and I want to minor in business law and then I can start a business where I can use what I'm doing for fun, what I enjoy and love. I'm Alethea Orby, I'm 16 and I go to Durham School of the Arts. That whole marketing and business plans have always kind of intrigued me on you know how to form that and how to do the proposal to like a board of directors so I think that's going to be actually kind of fun. Because we defined it with a criteria that says ultimate decision maker. There can be a decision making unit, but there's always someone who has the last word. Always. What you want to do is find out who is the ultimate decision maker or what are the characteristics of the ultimate decision maker in the majority of instances. Intuitively they understand. What we're trying to do is bring some of the formal definitions together and then getting them to think more deeply about some of these things like what's a customer. And these are things that they understand intellectually, and we're trying to get them to experience it so that they walk away with a deeper understanding and moreover so they can put it all together and say, aha, okay, that's business. They have a case that's based on the music industry. 95% of the downloads are pirated. Put yourself as the chief executive officer of a firm in this industry. Look out at a market 95% of the customers of which are finding ways not to pay you or anyone else in the industry a dime for what you have to pay to create. Uh, and the music industry is fraught with challenges. We wanted to make sure that the students had a case that was interesting to them. The case is also selected and written to, to pose challenges to maintaining you know, profitable streams of revenue you know, based on all the changes and the forces and change in technology and the like. The global nature you know, of the music industry. Uh, the need for leadership. What is leadership? So that's our question. I think leaders typically try to, uh, try to refine the opinions of others rather than trying to provide their, what they think their vision should be. They try to improve upon what their followers' vision is to make the major decisions and take care of big problems or advise things, but also leaders somebody who listens to what the followers have to say concerning certain issues to make the best decision. Incentive. Uh, some reward that could be solely provided by the leader within his or her discretion to incentivize you, encourage you, provide some motivation for you, right, to produce. How about the production exercise? Any incentive to draw as many pennies as you could in the shortest amount of time possible? Do you think it's valuable to have an incentive? What if I told you all I'd give you a dollar for every penny that you drew? Oh. Would you have drawn more pennies? Yes. <laughs> so, as a leader, it's important to think about the incentives. Now, number of pennies drawn. Team A and B, same number of members, significant difference in the production. Why? Yes, Alethea. Um, it depends on what they were more focused on in drawing the pennies, if they're dependent on quality or quantity. Now, were, were there any instructions that you heard from the in the instructions provided for the leader around the quality of the penny, the quality of the drawing of the penny? Okay, someone who... Can you read the instructions again? The goal of your team is to draw as many pictures of a penny as possible. You have 10 minutes to complete the task. Please select your team and lead them to achieve the goal. Was there anything stated there about the quality of the penny, the drawing of the penny? So what was the goal? Just to draw as many pennies. To draw as many pennies as possible. All right. You gave me your first cursory observation. Now after hearing this dialogue, would any of you care to amend 
your observations. I'm Andrew Yin. I'm 16, and I attend Panther Creek High School as a rising junior. Well, definitely this experience has opened my eyes to all the little details of business, and exactly that business is far from just shaking hands and signing contracts and looking all poised and everything while you make speeches in front of reporters. It's, it is about decision making, and I feel like that's so far what this academy is all about, about learning how people make decisions. I'm actually interested in pursuing more of an economics or political science major, but obviously in economics, economics is the study of decision making, and business is decision making. Well, it's important about financial literacy and learning about business plans and hiring the right people around you that you trust. You know, I always say, you know, the people around me are smarter than me. You know, my CFO, my, my CMO, my general, general, general manager, all of them are smarter than me. So I, any questions on your guys' side? I'm an open book. I don't. Yeah. I wanted to get into this program because I want to be a music producer and eventually own my own recording studio. I've always loved music and just the sound of it, and always having something to go back to when I need to express myself. So you know it's what you want to do, and all I can tell you right now, with the with uh, the opportunity that the internet gives you, you know, what I mean, you can start your company tomorrow. And you can have find songs, like you find great writers, great producers, great artists started, and no, nobody's stopping you. But this is just a, a part. If you want to run a business, and it's not that it's not, it's not just something you you like to do, it's something you're really passionate about, and you want to make a business of it. Hopefully, this is the first step. For you. My mom used to say this to me: "I believe in myself, therefore I am what I believe myself to be." My father said, "Don't be a small a, a, a big fish in a small pond. Be a big fish in a big pond." He said, you, you're going to New York. I said, it's eight million stories. He said, make it eight million to one. Young people rule the world. Everything changes because of young people. And hopefully we'll give you the tools um, to make it happen for yourself. Thank you again. Appreciate it. What we're going to do is at concerts, we're going to sell CDs. Let the people know if they buy a concert ticket, they're going to get a CD. The CD buyers have been our main target. They have been faithful and we're going to keep selling to them. When you're presenting plans is, okay, all I really care about is how is this going to benefit the business and how much it's going to cost. You've laid out the work. Now, when you're talking, let's show some numbers. This is really the culmination of the two weeks, the crescendo, if you will. So, Marvin Gaye once asked a very important question. What's going on? <laughs> so, today, I'm going to tell you what's going on in the music industry. Now, Brian likes Jay-Z, as I've already stated. He clicks Jay-Z's name, and he sees several live concerts. And, he, and Brian notices that there's a concert going on that night. But the concert is all the way over here in LA, which is 3,000 miles away from Durham, where Brian lives. So Brian can't view this concert. But our product, which the beauty of our product, is that Brian actually can. We basically took our prices for the CD, app, and online sales, and we multiplied that by the projected sales, and that gave us our total for each division. And then as they are drawn into the case and start working through it, they begin to realize these are serious business issues. Tukin Live will probably be more popular than CDs, but at the same time, CDs will still be a source of revenue for us. Do you think about trying to do some sort of promotion with um, online purchase as well because most of them are already downloading and, and using the music online so it seems like a large part of the segment already does that you know as you're seeing your CD sales are going to keep shrinking and maybe CDs have seen their day that is true but if, like we said live concerts are actually going up and if they continue to go up as rapid as they uh, as, as rapid as they are then we're reaching out to um, that to the live to the people that like live concerts because it's going up if you see on the concert subscriptions, half a billion dollars, 529, 524 million, right? Mm -hmm. But you have no cost relating to that. What are the costs relating to the concert subscriptions? Don't you have to pay additional royalties, additional fees for recording those and, you know, allowing access to your clients? It was kind of intense, just a little bit, but I don't expect it to be that intense. And the real challenge came in when we had to answer the questions. Answering the hard questions, it can't do anything but make you better. Our company has seen a decline in revenue over the last three years, approximately 10, 15 percent, depending on how fast we see that. And then with this, you see a jump in revenue of approximately 25, 30 percent in one year, which is a pretty big and bold jump. Do you see your plan as being that big and bold? Well, our plan will work, but 
with that, since we're marketing to more people, the income should increase. And also with the video games, the graph has showed a 30.4% increase from 2007 to 2011. Also, we are doing concerts, and that since we're having a higher price than Live Nation, um, we will be receiving that revenue. This program is provided you with such an amazing, rare, and unique opportunity. A real learning opportunity, which I hope will really make an impact upon your lives. I mean, we, we all talk about how important education is. We all talk about how important it is to have aspiration, to have goals in our life, to be inspired in our life. And first of all, I want to congratulate the students that were selected for this program because I know that there were many applicants and obviously everybody couldn't come in. So I would consider you to have been very fortunate, but more importantly, congratulate you, one, on applying and secondly, on being been accepted in the program. I had to pinch myself. You, you don't know what it feels like to, to be a spark and then see a big fire, a positive fire. And I like the you know, North Carolina Central, um, all the staff, I mean, all the great people. I mean, you guys just make me feel like home. Two weeks of your life, you gave to yourself. You didn't give to the university. You didn't give to me. You didn't give to any of the sponsors. You gave to yourself. From this day forth, the company you work for is you. Every single day you wake up, everything matters. How you look, how you talk, who you hang out with, what time you get up, what time you show up for the meeting. Everything matters. There's people in this room right now that could change your life. Simply change your life. Not by giving you something, but giving you an opportunity. I went through this whole thing about redefining our generation. Generation Y acts Y. Generation X, unknown. We are Generation E. We're educated, we're entrepreneurs, and we're focused on being the best that we can be. So when I say we can, guys, I want you to say make it happen. We can make it happen. We can. Make it happen. Oh, that's why. <laughs> what I tell you earlier, somebody could change your life in here. That's going to change your life. Hey, yeah. <laughs> we can make it happen. We can make it happen. We can make it happen. We will make it happen. Holla. Thank you guys. Thank you. A very successful academy like this doesn't happen without a number uh, of partners who are equally committed to, to the cause. Uh, we could absolutely not have this academy without our underwriting uh, founding financial sponsor, uh, Genworth Financial, and the work that Genworth has done uh, in investing the money in the lives of these rising 10th and 11th graders. Uh, that investment that Genworth is making in the lives of these students is going to pay real dividends uh, for years to come. We've already talked about um, what this could potentially be. And one of the things that Kevin articulated uh, is that this is a wonderful incubator, if you will, to actually start entrepreneurial hubs on the campuses of HBCUs across the country. This program will be successful if the students walk away understanding the amazing opportunities in business.